Hello again guys, UK Star Wars. Um, today's video, I'm going to do a, a go over um, and describe how I made my Mythos Boba Fett um, figure. So, um, this is definitely my favourite custom I've done, um, without a doubt. It was the most enjoyable to make. Everything went to plan. Everything worked, um, which is strange for me and my customs. Things normally go wrong. Um, but this one was a real um, labour of love, shall you say. So he's uh, a Bandai model kit, Boba Fett figure base. Um, I picked it off, uh, picked it off eBay, sorry. Um, I think it was like £10 um, plus postage. It was a complete steal. Um, I... Um, I, I wasn't expecting much. I didn't buy this figure, um, this model, and I, you know, I didn't want to create a normal Boba Fett with the Mayfex um, Return of the Jedi and MBS Strikes Back versions being so good. I just didn't feel I needed the, the Bandai model kit. Um, if I'm honest, I only bought it because the price was so cheap. I thought I'll give it a go, see how my custom skills are um, on a normal MBS Strikes Back Boba Fett, and um, I'll take it from there. If I'm not happy, I'll, I'll, I could sell it on to somebody who may enjoy it um, or I could use it as a custom. So that's what I did. Um, I still didn't feel it when I, it arrived that I wanted to make a, a standard um, Boba Fett figure. And then um, I just watched a video recent, um, recently about the Sideshow Mythos Boba Fett and that really intrigued us. Um, so I had the, um, the DLT Blaster, um, the Bandai Model Kit one just lying around. And from that, um, when I seen Boba, Mythos Boba, Sideshow um, figure, having one of those, it was unusual because he never uses his blaster. And that just got my um, my creative juices flowing. And um, from having the blaster made me think I could um, have a go creating a Mythos Boba. So anyway, enough about the um, the thought process behind, behind it. Um, and I'll go through the figure now. So... Like I say, normal Bandai uh, model kit figure. I put a, the first thing I did. I, I put a, a clear coat, a matte finish all over the figure um, because it was um, just too shiny, um, and the paint just wouldn't take to it at all. So that's the first thing I did. I did two coats of that. Um, I'm still new to using the um, clear coat uh, matte varnish stuff and the clear uh, matte seal or whatever you want to call it. So I did two coats, and if I'm honest, I shouldn't have. Um, going back, I would have only done one, and just trust that I'd put enough on the first time. It lightened up the armor quite a lot, which was a bit disappointing at, at first. Um, but yeah, um, I'll go through that a little bit later on with the paint apps. So um, I'll start with the, the blaster. Um, I'll just take his hand out. Um, normal Bandai model kit. Um, DLT blaster. I bored out some holes um, down the barrel. Um, I showed this on my Instagram for my sound troopers um, blasters and this one. Um, it just gives it a little bit more realistic look. Um, I primed it with black, um, sealed it, and um, added some wraps from some material I had lying around from an old shirt. Uh, painted the material grey, a little bit of green and a little bit of black and just basically um, glued it to the, 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 the blaster. This is a piece of um, fake leather that I had scrap. I cut it to the desired width um, and give it a little bit of a, a, a dirt wash and stuff on it. And then I glued it into the similar positions that the sideshow blaster um, strap was attached. Uh, it's not perfect, obviously it's 112 scale and it's just a, it's just a custom. Um, so yeah, it's, it looks okay. I'm happy with the, the blaster. Um, soft goods, again, are from the, the shirt material um, that I had um, in my uh, Greeblies and materials box lying around. I painted it a grey green colour. Um, I've noticed um, on the um, the actual side your figure itself, it is a kind of a, a camo style light colour. Um, and I've noticed other customizers and people who've done the Mythos Boba have done it a beige sandy colour. Um, I just kind of wanted mine to be a bit of a more of a green camo style than the, the, the beige colour. Um, so I painted it um, grey, um, green 
um, and obviously a little bit of black dirt highlights in there. Um, it's one of those things that I could change as time goes on. I could make another one for different environments that um, he, I want to display him in or if I'm taking photos of the figure, I could um, you know add different ones. I made it so the head comes off very easy on these um, model kits. Um, it's removable. I could do multiples of these thicker, thinner, um, different shapes, uh, ponchos and stuff. Um, so yeah, it, it was all made with the intention to be, you know, customizable. I put a wire through included in the position um, so I can position it. That's all the way down one side. Um, so if I want to have the back blown in the wind as well, I can. Um, just give him a bit more of a dy uh, dynamic pose. And what I'll do is I'll take the, the poncho off for now. Um, it does look bare without it. It just doesn't look the same. Um, I, did, um, I didn't change the green or anything like that. I didn't paint over the green. Um, I just didn't feel the need to. Like I say, the, the clear coat uh, mat that I put on there, the two coats, lightened up the green quite a bit. Um, but I thought I'd give it more of a, a washed out worn look because obviously this is a mythos. It's meant to be set after everything else happened in the Star Wars world for Boba Fett. Um, so I, I left it that um, and I just basically added some silver um, scuffing and um, battle damage uh, onto the figure. Um, added his decal um, on his chest there and on the shoulder pad. Um, the shoulder pads, I did paint those... Um, a yellowy orange color um, from Citadel. I'm not sure of the name of the, the actual color I used, um, but it's the same color for the insides of the, the jetpack uh, that he has. Um, and then I added some silver and dirt wash on top of that, um, just to, to give it a, a bit more of a battle damage one look. Um, I did a dark wash, uh, dirt wash all over the, the jumpsuit and the armor, everything basically, and, and wiped it, the excess um, off. Try to get it in all the nooks and crannies and stuff. I didn't want to go too heavy with a wash. Um, I've noticed in the past um, some of my customs are I'm, I'm too heavy handed with my washers and stuff. So this time I thought about it a bit uh, a bit more, um, and I um, I just didn't want to add too much of a, a, a dark wash. Um, the helmet, um, the helmet. I just added some chipping to some silver scratches and scuffs. Um, just to, you know, make them look uh, quite battle damaged and worn. Um, I purposely damaged the um, the kill count or whatever it may be on the side of the, the helmet. Um, just to, again, to show that it's it's been a period of time and these helmets been worn completely. Um, painted the silver bits. I fixed the range fighter into place. Um, I'm not, you know, bothered about it um, coming down forward and stuff like that and moving the less moving parts you have in custom figures the better i think because it's less chance of something breaking in the future or anything like that so i fix it into place anyway um and sometimes they can't flop down i know the mafex ones are, are prone for doing that as well and the, the model kits can do that also so i got rid of that issue straight away i added the tube um this is an actual um wire um it was a, a black wire that I had lying around um, and I painted it um, with a dry brush of, of silver um, in no matter what range of motion you're going to go for on the arm. Um, it's strong, sturdy um, and it's, it's not going to break off or anything like that. Um, on the gauntlets I used um, a dark red from the Citadel paints um, and I cannot remember um, what colour it was, the name of it, sorry. I think it was what was the old corn uh, corn red um, back in the day for Warhammer and stuff. Um, but it's the dark, deep red, burgundy red. Um, but to be honest, any dark um, red or burgundy red would do. Um, these gauntlets uh, look different colours and different lights anyway. Uh, done some um, highlights of the silver on certain buttons and obviously the chipping effect followed through there. Um, this side, obviously this is um, meant to be an Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett and not Return of the Jedi, which the mythos was based on. 
So obviously painting the gauntlets was one thing, but he was missing the back piece. Um, the Empire Strikes back piece was on there with the silver um, darts and spikes and whatever else is on there. Um, so I had to make this block out of uh, Greeblies. Um, I didn't want it to be as big as the, the correct one on the Return of the Jedi. I did want this based on the Return of the Jedi um, outfit, but it is a Mythos Boba Fett, so I wanted to add some new uh, touches to it as well. Um, and I think the smaller, um, thinner piece on here, Flamethrower, um, just makes it look a little bit better, um, in my opinion. Um, painted the dot, uh, Whistling Birds um, on top of there, added some silver dry brushing and chipping. Um, I think I'm going to put some uh, red and blue um, on the buttons and stuff here. Um, I also need to paint the the black um, little readouts that are on his chest armor there as well. There's still some bits and bobs I haven't finished with this um, that I'm, I'm, I'm noticing afterwards because there was that much involved in it. Um, so there is still stuff to do on this. Um, the jetpack, again, because it was Empire Strikes Back, the whole jetpack was the green version. So I had to repaint that completely. Um, and I just did it in the um, Return of the Jedi Boba Fett jetpack colours. Um, added the silver chipping um, and dirt wash on there. Um, I didn't put any decals on there because at this 112 scale, I don't think it's needed, um, to be honest. Um, and again, I, I, it doesn't have to be completely perfect um, matching for me. I did make the missile on the back removable. So that can come out um, if if I wish. Um, there's a, a, a function um, for that. I'll, I'll show at the end of the video, to be honest. Um, I'll take the jetpack off um, so we can see. Bit more detail um the bottom the exhaust um ports and stuff are i dirtied up and added some black to um the back of the jetpack um weathered up as well um so yeah uh, i'm not a fan of the bright colored um return the jedi jetpack if i'm honest i prefer the empire strikes back one but if um he wants to pimp up his jetpack he's he's more than more than entitled to and i ain't gonna argue with him if he if he does, um, I didn't do too much um, paint weather on the back. You're not really going to see it that much with a jetpack or a poncho um, on there. So um, I may go into a little bit of a, a dark wash and paint the silver hooks for his jetpack on there as well. Um, I'll just see. Um, moving down, I'll do the front of the belt first. So these were the pockets and pouches that actually come on the figure. Um, but obviously the the Mythos Boba Fett um, and the Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, um, these pouches are closer together on the belt. So I took a piece of the, the fake leather uh, material that I have um, and cut it to size. I glued these pockets on at the right distance apart. Um, I cut some thinner strips of the fake leather um, and glued them on the underside of the belt attached um, these sides under there and obviously this comes around and attaches there and um, this side attaches to the pistol holster. Um, this is a pouch from a figure art farm boy Luke Skywalker. Um, I removed his belt in another custom um, which I've done a video for if you want to check that out. Um, where I turned that figure into a Death Star look, a Death Star escape look. So he's got a Stormtrooper uh, belt now. Um, and I used the, the pouch from that and added it onto this one. Holster um, is the one that comes with the um, the kit. All I did was um, cut off a piece of the, um, the holster at the top, which attaches to the belt, and glued it directly onto the fake leather um, custom belt that I'd made. Um, attached this piece by glue to the back of there and then glued it into position. Um, so that is on top of the soft goods. That does not remove now. The belt stays in place, which um, again, I'm not bothered about. I'm not going to be removing it anyway. This is definitely going to be a Mythos Boba Fett. 
Um, and I didn't want to get into the less movement parts with customs, the better nothing can go wrong. And he, he is solid, literally, like nothing can go wrong with him and fall off. It's it's all glued securely and it's 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 all went it's all went to plan, like I said at the beginning. Um he normally has three um random lightsabers that he's acquired from Jedi. Um in battles, um, the size at one twelfth, there just wasn't enough room to have another one on there. I didn't want to overcrowd it. Um, I might add another one in here, maybe sometime, or have a, a little bit of a longer um, piece of fake leather coming down to have one hanging down here. I don't know. The two at the moment look fine. These are just random custom Greeblies lightsabers that I made, non-specific um, for any Jedi. Um, and these are removable and stuff. You can actually put um, lightsaber blades, um, black series, figure what, whatever you want into these. So you can actually have an ignited lightsaber with them um, if if I wanted to display him with them. But I don't think I will. It's just more for decoration on his um, on his outfit. I'll just remove the, um, the blaster. So his normal blaster pistol, um, just paint it up and weathered it a little bit. Um, again, this is a, an Empire Strikes Back um, blaster pistol, but it's the one he does come with, with the um, Sideshow Mythos Boa Fett. Um, actually, I'll leave that out now so we can see better. Um, the holster, um, painted black, and then a little bit of sand uh, dry brushing on there just to give it a bit of a dirt, dirt and worn effect and, and stuff. The soft goods, the same material I always use. Um, this this shirt is, is hopefully going to last forever that I've got. I don't want the material to run out because it is a good material. Um, I've added wires into it um, at the front on both sides um, just to give it a bit more, you know, a bit more life, if you will. Um, these dots, um, which are similar to this side, I um, damaged them on purpose and made them look cool. No. They got broke, I don't know how, <laughs> if I'm honest. I'm not sure when they got broke, um, but they, they, they broke off somewhere, unfortunately. Um, but we'll just say it's part of the battle damage. Uh, painted the knee pads the same colour as the shoulder pads um, and add the silver um, touches and weathering and the dirt wash on top of that. Um, painted the silver tools at the front and give it a bit of a dirt wash. Um, this... Um, knife um vibro blade whatever you want to call it that he has on the side show mythos boa fett again and on images online i tried to make a greebly's knife and i tried to use other knives um for this um but it, it just didn't look right um so I, I i didn't bother doing it um i left it um and it, it bugged us that it wasn't there because he does have this blade down here on his um calf and then I seen somebody on Instagram, I believe it was, who um, mentioned what they had used for theirs. So I, I took their um, I took their advice, and it was off a Destiny um, figure, um, the computer game for Xbox Destiny. One of the the figures had this attached to their belt, um, and it looked pretty cool. So in similar to the one that Boba Fett um, has um, as a mythos, so. I uh, I picked that, that figure up just for this, took it off his belt and added it on and gave some fake leather um, straps go all the way around. Again, glued into place, um, so that's not going anywhere. It's all secured on. It's non-removable, obviously, but I don't really want to display Boba Fett with uh, holding a knife, if I'm honest. He's got his blaster um, pistol, he's got his DLT and he's got his jetpack and all of his gear on his um, gauntlets. I'm not sure he's uh, he's going to be too bothered about a knife, a uh, vibro blade. Um, so yeah, um, the shoes, boots, um, added the silver tips to the front of those um, and give a little bit of a sand dry brushing effect to the boots um, just to give a bit more character of a, a weary traveller um, worn look. Um, so yeah, that's that's the figure um, himself. Um, I'll leave him there for a second. So the jetpack, yeah, again, you may have seen on my Instagram, um, I made the rocket removable. Um, 
I'll just do this off camera a second. So using the um, the blast um, effect from um, the Black Series Stormtrooper that come with all the blast effects and stuff. Um, this one is the um, the Stormtrooper blaster um, firing out of the end of the the blaster effect. Um, I don't know why they would have fire coming out of the end of the blasters instead of just a, an actual laser blast. Um, but that's what you got with that for some reason. Um, I basically just drilled a tiny little hole which um, would fit the the tip of the, the end of the rocket, sorry. Um, and because of that hole inside there where the rocket fits, um, this kind of works um, if you place it inside there. Um, it gives you like a, a, a blast off rocket effect and stuff like that. Um, it is a bit fiddly and stuff at the minute. I do need to um, make the, the hole a little bit bigger in there. Um, just use a, a little vice drill or whatever you call them um, just to, to get that in so it, it does fit snug. Um, if I do twist it right, sometimes it goes in and it's it's pretty solid. Um, but again, a little bit more tweaking and you can get it perfect. So yeah, that was that. Um, I think that would be cool in some photography. Um, I also tried it on... Um, on this element um, of the the, the the gauntlet that I added, the side piece, um, and there is a way to, to um, fix it onto there if you want to, um, you know, have them doing some form of firing something, a missile, or um, maybe just flame effect. Um, this little piece as well, um, I also showed on my Instagram. This is the tip um, end nozzle from um, Paul Dameron Black Series um, blaster rifle that I, I cut off for another custom weapon. Um, and I just drilled a little hole in the end of it, which is the size for the end of here. And if I just pop it on there, kind of gives that effect. Um, again, you know, it's not accurate or anything like that. It's he doesn't fire this rocket from there, I would imagine. Um, but it's just another display option, another cool little effect that you, I could use for toy photography. Um, so yeah, if you want to use that, that's where that comes from. So that's it. That's the um, the Mythos Boba Fett Bandai model kit um, custom. If you have any questions um, or anything like that, please drop them um, down in the comments. If you have any thoughts um, or advice or anything else, because like I say, I, I'm not fully finished with them. There's still a few little things I need to tweak. If you've got any little ideas or anything as well, please drop them in there. Um, I would appreciate that um, greatly. Um, and check out my other videos that I'm uploading at the moment. Um, there's a few um, custom videos coming. Um, so yeah. I'd appreciate some feedback on those as well. Like, subscribe, it would be really appreciated. Thank you so much and take care.